everyone and welcome to XX Mount Potato Kitchen! Today we're making a nice snack um, that is healthy. It's hummus. Most of you probably already know that, but do you know how to make it yourself? Let's get into it, shall we? Here's what it looks like. It is not pretty, but it was tasty. And that's what is important. It looks like mashed potatoes, basically. So the recipe I used didn't give me any instruction for the amount of seasoning to add in so you will have to maybe test and see if you like the amount that i've put but i will do some recommendation the first thing you need a simple can of chickpeas you rinse it that's why i put it in a colander and you put it into a food processor along with the amount of garlic you want i've put three big cloves of garlic because we like garlic you don't need to mash it or cut it just Put it in there. The food processor will do what it needs to be done. Some pepper. I I think I forgot to add salt in this recipe, but you can add salt if you want. You need lemon juice, as you can see. Maybe a teaspoon or half a teaspoon, depending on how much acidity you want. I added maybe half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Make sure that if your cayenne pepper is spicy, like really spicy, to maybe put a tiny bit less. This recipe is spicy, so just keep that in mind. I added some cumin here we can see i've put half a teaspoon but i had it more later so i would say put a good tablespoon in there a good tablespoon of cumin half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper here i'm adding some tahini tahini is a sesame butter a little bit like peanut butter but with sesame seeds it is really thick and oily, so when you open the pot the first time, you need to make sure that it is well uh, shaken. You need to mix it well, because it will be separated. So you add this tiny. My trick is to add the tiny first, and then you need to add half a cup of water. So you just use the same container for the water. Like that, you lose less tahini. More fiber, yay! <laughs> And you go put it onto the food processor until it reached the consistency that you desire. Mine wasn't as smooth as I would have liked, but it didn't mind. I don't really care about texture, but if you care about texture, I would recommend maybe add a little bit of oil to make it a little bit smoother or just put it on in the food processor for a little bit longer so that everything is pretty smooth. Mine had like a mashed potato texture, so I wasn't bothered by it. So here I did a taste test and didn't have enough flavor, so I added more cayenne pepper and more cumin and more lemon juice. And I put it back to the food processor to mix it all well, because I didn't realize that I could just mix it with my spoon. But that's fine. I did another taste test and I was satisfied, so I put it into a container and I added some parsley after. Because the recipe suggests to add some parsley. So, for one can of chickpeas, you had three garlic cloves, half a cup of water, half a cup of tahini, or sesame butter, one teaspoon of lemon, or two, depending on how much acidity you want, a pinch of salt, pepper to taste, a good tablespoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of parsley, and you can add olive oil if you want it to be smoother and put it back into the food processor. So that's the basic of what you need to know. So those are the ingredients that you can play with. So the next recipe I did, I decided to try an uh, Italian version, kind of. So I did the same thing. One can of chickpeas, three garlic, two or three garlic cloves, half a cup of water, half a cup of tiny, a little bit of lemon juice. But this time I added... Italian seasoning and maybe a cup of sun-dried tomato and I've used the oil from the sun-dried tomato as an oil at the end to make it smoother and since it's a very flavorful oil it was really good so you put all of these ingredients into food processor again you blend it and it's ready it's ready to eat I prefer it cold so you can put it into the fridge to chill for a little while but it was really good and I think it's a nice healthy snack for when you don't know what to eat and you don't want to feel guilty by eating chips or whatever and you can put that into sandwiches, wraps, so you can do whatever you want with it, whatever you would eat hummus with. You can even dip some potatoes in there if you want. And yeah, it was really good. I recommend it. 
it's really simple it's a lot simpler than i expected and that's why i'm sharing this with you guys because i don't think that everyone knows how simple it is to make this recipe you just need to have a food processor if you don't have a food processor it might be a little bit more tricky but if you have a really really good blender maybe you could do it i don't know but this was good you guys should do it and i may have a recipe for non bread coming soon because i did some homemade recently i don't know when because it's not recorded yet so it may take a while but we'll have one eventually i might mix it with another kind of bread as well so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i know i did on this i will go eat more hummus because i still have some in the fridge and i will finish editing this and i'll see you guys next week for another video i'll see you guys bye bye